What's up, y'all? So I'm going to share with y'all my experiences of how people treated me when I was obese versus being fit. Now, honestly, it is true. Big night and day difference. See, I feel like while I'm being fit, I get way more respect and people look up to me versus when I was chubbier. I tend to get some disrespect, probably not getting taken seriously, or for the most part, I always get teased. Now, my old childhood, I never really would say get bullied, but of course, you know, I get teased a little bit, you know. Get the fat jokes, you feel me? And there ain't no avoiding those. I'm getting all the fat hour jokes. And that's real it do. But see, like, there wasn't no way I could going to hide my man boobs. They was for show sure showing. And the thing is, though, these your friends, right? You know they just joking. You know what I'm saying? You laugh alongside with them and everything like that. But those teases and those jokes, it still low-key kind of gets to you. Just a little bit. But the crazier part is when people talk about you when you're not there. Most likely, they're probably talking all kinds of garbage about you. Probably saying all kinds of this and that. It's crazy. You know, growing up, I did experience some sort of disrespect, especially when you might make someone upset and they go ahead and assault you. And they always point towards your weight. And when they do want to roast you or something like that, they always going to point towards your weight first. And at the end of the day, no matter how you're going to try to hide it with body positivity, fat is looked down upon in society, low key. Let's just keep it real. But the thing is, though, when you look at someone that's fit, you naturally will look up to them in many different ways. Some people might get jealous and they show hate. Other people will applaud you, support you, and get motivated and inspired on how far you take yourself. That was a crazy experience that I had to realize, you know what I'm saying? Going from both ends, being the, the laughing stock to now people looking up to me. It's people I never even talked to from school and stuff starting to talk to me or, you know, hear about me and it's it is wild. But that's because it's like, I took that, that step forward and to myself on wanting to improve myself. And the biggest thing was my image. But it's all about truly, what truly matters is this. Do you respect you? Do you respect yourself? Because if you don't respect yourself, how is anybody going to? And letting yourself go is a form of disrespect towards yourself. So how is anybody else going to respect you? That's how I kind of look at it. If I'm letting myself go and I'm doing things that's leading me down to the wrong path, how's anybody going to respect me for that? They might as well laugh at my punk ass for all that bullshit I'll be pulling off. When I let my, when I let my weight go, I let myself down. I always disrespected myself, you know? I was shy, insecure, and everything. And because of that, everybody else was gonna give me that energy. But here I am naturally producing that positive energy. Once I'm finally fit, people naturally get motivated on self-improvement. You will get respected once you start respecting yourself. And that's the key to this. When you, once you start this journey and to finally want to improve on your health and everything like that. Just know there's a lot of things that's gonna come your way. People you might not even talk to might might chatter with you. you might get praise. You're gonna get jealousy sometimes once you lose that weight. But it's how you carry yourself is how it truly matters. Because if you ain't a happy person naturally, at the end of the day, why do anybody's opinion even matter? So that's how I kind of grow into this person where it's like, I remember at a point in time, I used to care how people feel about me, how, how my image was. Oh, I'm too fat. I can't do this and can't do that. So, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I might get disrespected by people sometimes when I was at my heaviest. 
But man, once I finally took action, started working on myself, once I started improving on my physical and my strengths, bro, people started to notice. Work on yourself. But don't do it for the validation of others. You demand your respect, but it all comes within you. You have to respect yourself before anyone else can respect yourself. You have to respect yourself before anybody can respect you. Because if you don't, why everybody else will, even at your heaviest right now, you have to respect yourself. Self-improvement is a way that's going to help you start respecting yourself because you're starting to save yourself. You're starting to care more about your health. You're starting to notice it rather than trying to ignore it, bury it, because you keep going out this realm called reality. That trauma you're dealing with is blocking you. How people feel about you, making you anxious. Stop caring what everybody else thinks, what you do what your next move is and try and ask for opinions. Fuck that and just go with your gut instinct. As long as you keep working on yourself and your self-improvement, nothing's going to stop you. But you have to respect yourself in order to start this journey, bro. See, you have to take action to finally start respecting yourself. If you don't, nothing will come your way. That dream body you got ain't going to come. That's real deal, that holy feel, homie. Love y'all.